All right, Marcus. So welcome, welcome back. Uh, Thank how does you. Feel to return amidst this new chapter in CFC's history, and also in the midst of a playoff push as well. It's really cool. You know, it's the games you want to play, the ones that that really count, and. You know, the team has done a really good job so far to put us in a spot to fight for a, a spot in the playoffs. So, you know, I just want to come in and, and help out in whatever way I can. With what you're, you know, comfortable sharing, you know, what was the conversation with, like with Rod and in terms of bringing you back in and, and kind of what discussions went on about role and things like that? I just, they need more attacking options. Um, they don't have, you know, they have some quality options for sure, but then maybe numbers have been lacking a little bit, you know, especially now towards the end of the season, there's a lot of important games. You want to guys to be fit and ready and you never know if, you know, if with injuries and whatever, like, you know, when playoffs comes around, you want, you know, a, a strong 11 on the field and you just need not just the 11 on the field, but you need, you know, options off the bench. So. We haven't talked much about expectations or anything, but just he sort of, I played for him for two years, you know, what I can do and, and you know, I, we'll see. I don't really know, you know, to what extent I'll, you know, I'll, you know, be involved, but, you know, I'm hoping to play as much as possible and, and help out when I can, when I'm called upon. Been able to, to watch them a fair bit, you know, yeah. this during the season. Overall, what have you made of team performances this year? It's good. Yeah, a lot of quality players. Um, I know a lot of them from before. I obviously played with them a good amount of them before, so I know, know those guys. And also the, the new guys seem like a bunch of quality players. So now it looks like a group that I can uh, thrive with and a bunch of guys I'm excited to play with, for sure. And then in terms of the league, what, what have you been able to sort of assess from an observer point of view so far? It's a good league. It has a lot of you know exciting young players, um, a lot of really good individual talent. Um, the, the games are you know high speed. Um, there's a lot of individual brilliance, but there's probably also like you know, a, if players aren't that experienced, they're lacking a little bit in that department. But from a you know individual skill and athleticism point of view, I think there's a lot of you know kind of diamonds in the rough for sure. Any goals in particular that you can share with us that you're kind of looking for from this chapter and as an individual and then, you know, the team's goals? I think first of all, we just want to, you know, make the playoffs from a team perspective. And then, you know, when, once we're in there, like it's win or go home, like you just never know. So then I say that's goal number one. And from an individual point of view, I just, just you know, I want to get on the field. I want to score goals. I want to assist. I want to create chances. Um, it just really depends on like, we'll see how much I end up playing and you know, to what extent I get involved. But you know, when I'm on the field, I want to, I want to be dangerous and I want to, you know, I want to score goals. That's, you know, that's, that's what I'm here to do. What does this year entail for you? How do you sort of reflect on your 2024 so far? Um, it's been different. Yeah, it's been the first sort of year in my career where I've spent, you know, the majority of the season on the sideline, just watching, being, been on the outside, it's definitely been interesting, giving me some time to reflect and think of things and, you know, just miss the game really, uh, kind of made me even more hungry, just, you know, you kind of realize when you're on the outside, like how, how much you miss just, not just the games, but just being in the locker room with the guys and the practice and on road trips and, yeah, that's, I'm just really excited to be, you know, back amongst the, the guys and, and yeah, I just I can't wait to step on that field again and then compete. What have you made of Mehdi Wamri's performances and have you been able to talk with him a bit as well? No, I've talked to him. I've talked to him, you know, today and, and yesterday, but also I met him before, like being around the team. So it seems like a really nice, genuine guy. Obviously a really good forward as well. Scored, I think, eight goals, two assists, is it? Um, and he's contributed with his movement and his hold-up play as well. So. He's a good player and, you know, he can score goals, I can score goals and, you know, why, why not have two guys that can put the ball in the back on that, you know, that never hurts. Lastly, you know, what's your message to, to CFC supporters right now? Um, just really excited to be back, You're really excited to play in front of them again. I've, I've missed it there a lot, you know, the, we have the best fans in, in our league and I'd say even in, you know, in U.S. soccer, so I just... They've always treated me so well ever since I came here, what, three years ago, and 
yeah, no, I just want to play in front of them again, and you know, I want to celebrate a goal in front of them again. That's that's what I miss. Chattanooga as a whole, mm -hmm. what does Chattanooga mean to you? I mean, it means a lot. It's become obviously I'm not American. I'm not you know I've I've only spent a few years here, but this has sort of become what I feel like is home to me. You know, on this side of the pond, so. Ever since I came, like they've just made me feel super welcomed and 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 loved and appreciated. So now I just have good things to say about Chattanooga, and it's it's made it you know it's it's been a hard place to leave, and you know that's one of the reasons I'm still here. So.